Hello and welcome back. I am Robot Genie and we are here playing the Solinki Dynasty in Crusader Kings 2. Um, yeah, so I forgot to save uh, before I closed the program last time, but luckily uh, we were on January 7th of 1989 and autosave uh, was just six days ago, so that's not terrible. I've uh, I've done worse things before. Uh, yeah, but so I've uh, I took a break. I had some time to think about our situation here. And uh, I think I might have come up with a strategy. So uh, there's no way I'm staying Jane. Uh, and that there, there's two reasons for that. One, it's going to be incredibly hard to, to retake India. And two, when we switch to EU4, <laughs> the Jane religion is just really terrible in EU4. It gives, it gives like nothing. And the Hindu religion seems like it's a lot of fun in EU4, so I kind of want to set myself up to be Hindu in EU4. And Buddhist also is rather uninteresting in EU4. It's better than Jain. Jain, Jain is basically gives like no bonuses. Gives one tolerance of true faith and that's it. <laughs> it's, it's rather weak. Um, but I don't want to change just yet. Uh, what I, Especially since we're, well, so we're gonna, when we change over, we're gonna have to deal with, like, things like actually having Ultima Genitor and not being able to choose our heirs, and our realm's gonna be much more unstable, and, you know, all those nice things. Uh, so I wanna kinda grab a Empire title first. And I think the easiest one to grab is gonna be over in Bengal. I think I can, in, like, in probably let's say four subjug subjugation claims, I can probably get enough land to take the empire title. And then uh, and then we can do that, and once I have the empire title, we can switch over to uh, Hindu. And uh, maybe maybe do it like that. Sounds sounds good to me. So that's, that's the plan. Uh, and we're gonna see uh, how these guys affect that plan. Now, in real life, or in the 1066 start, uh, what, whatever, you know, whichever way you want to call it, uh, the Ghaznavids took, like, this stuff here, this, right? And then they also took all of, like, what Safrit territory is. So I'm kind of hoping that, like, after they maybe steal some more land from me one more time, they'll maybe go focus over here. That, that would be nice. Um, and take take other land that they're supposed to like own because uh, like this guy's much weaker than me but uh, I you know they didn't start attacking the Safarids they started attacking me and uh, that, that's probably because of the same religion but it'd be nice to see them come over here I don't know what's gonna happen though they might just keep on attacking me because they can steal the most land from me at once I don't you know I, I'm not sure uh, but yeah, so we we just need to get some more purity, and then we can come over here and and, and take a kingdom, and uh, and start working on getting the empire title over here. Cause let's let's be quite honest, we're never gonna get the Rajasthan empire title with these guys here. We won't get enough land. And plus, uh, that green color is pretty nice. I like it. That I, I could uh, I could live with that as the color of our empire. I mean, of course, we just go into the game files and change it to whatever color we want, but... I have done that before. Like, when, when uh, things switch colors uh, from changing titles, sometimes I like to stay the color I was before. I'm just going to change it. I don't know, it's just, just random things, right? Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we, we want them to be kind or just. Just would be awesome. I'd rather them be just than kind. Oh, okay. This is uh this is my heir. Dude, cynical. That's fine, I guess. See the thing with the thing with uh with Jane is like basically we can do no wrong. Our our uh oh, we only have Oh, did we just become ruler? I think we did. That's right. Yeah, we did. So this is uh, this is our uh, one and only son. Um, so let's uh, let's educate him. But yeah, as Jane, we can basically do no wrong. 
in, in the eyes of our vassals. It's very hard. Uh, she's just a little bit too old. I think I'm gonna take her as a concubine anyway. I think these uh, women can stop, will stop having kids at like 45, but it's a sliding scale. I think they lose fertility. Um, maybe uh, starting even from as early as 30. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that mechanic works, but I, I know that, or at least I'm, I'm pretty sure that they lose fertility. So it's always kind of better to have, uh, if you want a lot of kids, like younger concubines. <laughs> this game, uh, like, must make me sound just terrible. I'm just like a terrible person. Terribly sexist. Well, it was a sexist time, I guess. <laughs> so, I mean, it's tech technically a sexist time all the way up until like what like the 70s or the 60s or something in America <laughs> in America at least anyway it wasn't as bad as taking concubines though um yeah she can be my concubine too we just gotta really get out of here. Uh, and then the other thing is, I don't know if I wanna really convert this Hindu land or not. I mean, we're not gonna own it anymore anyway. It's gonna be Sunni. The, the Sunnis are gonna take it over. The stupid, stupid Sunnis. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we're just gonna go take over Buddhist land. Then I, it doesn't really matter if we convert Buddhist land to Jain or just leave it Buddhist, because we're gonna be Hindu. Uh, that's that's the end game. It's kind of unfortunate. I, I, I like to kind of propagate the religion that I start with, but, um, in this case, in this case, I, I don't think that's going to work out. It did allow for a nice stable start, though. Um, you know, there was no problem starting. Oh, and oh, that's right. Uh, so the other thing I did was I uh, I think I figured out um, how to push someone else's uh, claim. So let's see if we can. I think uh, this guy. He's, see, this guy's my direct vassal, right? And he has a claim here. So what we can do is we can be like, all right, we're going to press your claim because it's not going to grant him a kingdom title. If it granted him a kingdom title, he'd go independent. But since it's not going to grant him a kingdom title, we can actually go fight for and take it. Oh, it's going to cost us purity, though. And I don't want to... I don't want, uh, I don't want that. All I want is to get more purity. And I think we need, we need some prestige. We're very not prestigious. Oh. And, uh, yeah, here we go. We're about to lose more land. Uh, there's, I mean, I'll raise my armies. But I think exactly what happened last time is going to happen again, where they just walk into this land and and um, force siege it all before I can even get units. Before I, I I bet before even all my units get together and I can march an army up there, they'll probably have just 100% won the war. It's really a bunch of crap. <laughs> you know, I, I have I have zero chance to fight back. And look, they're losing like no men. It's just, it's just absurd. Just, just absurd. Uh, it'd be nice if we could kill some of these units at somehow, some way, a little bit, you know, like. So yeah, it's uh, we're already at um, minus seventy-two percent war score. Uh, it's not even worth like raising mercenaries for. Uh, they haven't split up their stacks yet, and as soon as they go and carpet seed these two things, it's over. So I'm just gonna like, I don't know. Maybe we can move up here and engage this army. We just lose everything. It's not worth it. Oh, he's coming to attack me. That's not in my capital though, so I can't do anything about adding extra units there. Let's not lead our own army. That that could be really bad. <laughs> I do kind of want to fight him a little bit. I wonder if we can kill any 
Uh, now you know what? I, I really probably shouldn't fight him, huh? I probably shouldn't. I should just let him be. I should just disband all my units and let him kill, kill stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run away. Yeah, I should just disband my units. Just let him, just let him go. He's gonna, he's gonna get it anyway. I should just not lose my men and save him for taking more land than I need. So yeah, yep, he's already at 100%. Wait, when did this war start? Uh, oh, it, it doesn't give them, it's been going on for five months. <laughs> he's already won. Yep, there we go. <laughs> it's the end of that. Uh, so hopefully he doesn't come over and take too much more of my stuff, you know, down here. Hopefully now he decides to focus on someone else. That would be really awesome, you know. But I don't, I don't know how that's going to work. Like, historically, if we're going historical, he should go focus over here. But, uh, I think because they're the same religion, he's all buddy-buddy with them, and I don't think he's going to go over there. Okay, so I think, uh... In practice, what, what's really going to happen is just, he's just going to sack all of uh, India, of which I am my prime target, because he can just take whole kingdom or whole duchies wholesale from me. So he'll probably go for Jangladesh next, and then maybe, uh, hopefully, he goes for these guys and not this. You, you never know. He'll basically go for whatever he wants. Piece of crap. I still have pretty good levies and stuff. The problem is I've been building up this province here and it, it could not be around for much longer. <clears throat> so now I, I gotta decide whether I wanna keep on building it up or if I start, if I come down here and I start to really build up my force down here. Cause uh, if he takes all of this, it's very, uh, I think it's unlikely that he'll come all, he'll get so far down here. I think, I think it's unlikely that he'll sack down here. Uh, but he might sack Maru. Yeah, he'll probably find other people to fight before he gets all the way down here. I just don't know if he'll find other people to fight before he gets here. I don't know. Ugh, and we lost, we lost more purity for that. That's great. Thanks. Thanks, dude. You're awesome. Jackass. All right, yeah, that guy is still my directly, er, uh, directly under me. So I can, I can press his claim. So, ah, oh, jeez, wait, the guy's still defending. That's not cool. Can I kill this guy? I want to fight someone. I gotta fight someone. We need an ambition. What ambition? Uh, diplomacy. It would be really nice, uh, yeah, to have this purity. It'd be super nice. Hopefully, we just live long enough to build it up. But of course, if we get another holy war declared on us, you never know. We could just lose, just lose the um, the built-up purity before we have enough. Because we gotta get, we gotta get enough to come over here and start sacking over here. If I have to move everything over here, I will. And then come back with vengeance. I mean, I was worried about making it too easy in EU4, so this will uh, solve that <laughs> problem. Maybe. I mean, there's still a lot of time left of the game. It's, it's <laughs> we still have like 450 years till the end of the game. It's more time than all of EU4. Uh, cool. I got the scholar trait. That's uh, that's some good stuff. Oh, we gain extra purity from being at peace. That's pretty good. These guys fighting in a war? I wish they were. 
I just want to see all their units die. They're not losing. They're barely losing any units because he's just carpet. He's just force sieging everything and losing like 50 men a piece. So it it could take. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take for him to, to him, for him to be all like tuckered out of his units. But probably um, probably like 150. He's probably going to lose his units when another horde comes in. I don't know if he's going to lose them before then. So what I really need to do is grab more land so I can build up a force to go slap them around. I guess the other strategy would be is I could declare war on him and then lose the war so I have a um, so I have a truce with him and then he doesn't take land and I just lose money and stuff. I guess that could be one strategy. I could, like, exploit the system a little bit. But yeah, I think, uh, I think maybe I should start building... I wish one of these had one more castle in it. But perhaps I should build two castles here and get rid of these castles. You know what, it's probably not that time just yet. Probably not just yet, uh, but I, I really am really pretty hesitant to put too much work, too much more work over here, because I do think we're gonna lose it, and uh, I'm starting to think that maybe I should just start focusing on building stuff over here, and uh, and forget about this. The sooner I do it, the better, right? Hmm. We could do another university. Oh, Jesus, it's a really hard decision, though. It's, re it's really tough to just abandon all this work that I put in here, because what do we own? We own Well, we own three castles here. Okay, yeah, we own three castles here. So we could also own three castles here. We could also own three castles here. Uh, so perhaps... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start building up uh, three castles over here, and then we're gonna we're gonna transfer. Uh, we're gonna slowly transfer this stuff into someone else's hands as we build up um, build up more stuff. Start by giving away this guy. So we'll we'll just I don't know. We'll upgrade that for more money, but yeah, we'll do that. Sounds fine to me. Make sure I have a strong retinue. How much money are we making? We're making good money. And that, that is one nice thing. It's going to be hard for him to threaten my money because my money is being made down here. Most of it. Not all of it. Most of it. All right, we have uh, we have another son here. Now I don't think I want him to be my heir just yet. He's too young. Yeah, I want the guy that I, I want the kid that I'm already tutoring to be my heir for now. Yeah, it's gonna be a shock switching over from Jane to someone else. I mean, I know when you play the game, most of the time uh, you're you're playing not like you are in Jane, like you don't get all those privileges of selecting your heirs and all that, but uh, once you've been playing the game like that, to switch over again, it's probably going to be a, it's going to be a shock. Definitely. So can I declare this war now? Yes, I can. Maybe I'll earn some purity from, from this war. Let's, uh, let's go get everybody together. Alright, we've got a castle town. Um, oh, I want the monthly piety. So, 50% trait of hu chance of humble. Uh, it looks like he did not get humble. That would have been great. I, I want that monthly, uh, that monthly purity. Uh, 
It looks like this guy raised some troops over here. Now we probably got like another four years before we could potentially be attacked again. I think he's just gonna keep on attacking me because he's like, why not? I keep on destroying him. Which is fair, you know. I can't say I would do any, if I had that many men, I'd probably do the same thing. If I had that many men, I could probably just take over all of India before I lost them. <laughs> like, we're being serious here. You'd probably just take over all of India before, before you lost them at all. And maybe also Persia. Oh, okay. We got, uh, we got a new uh, little castle. We got a new castle. Uh, let's, let's create a new vassal. Oh, that just, oh, look at that. I've never used that button before. That just grabbed some random dude. I was thinking that it might let me select. Um, it might let me select him. But no, it just kind of like generated some random, random guy, I think. I don't even know if this guy was from my court. Just put him in charge. That's fine. I kind of wanted to pick, but, uh... That, that makes things a little, especially if you're playing like multiplayer, that would make things a lot easier than trying to pick everybody out. Picking everybody out is great and all, but it takes a lot of time, it's kind of annoying. Depends on what mood I'm in, on whether I want to spend that much kind of time picking everything out. Sometimes I just want to get on with it, <laughs> and uh... And it's like I, you know, I don't care if I, if my uh, if my haste led to an ambitious person being in there right now. Just, sometimes I just don't care. Of course, if you don't care for too long, you're gonna get too many too many people in there that are not good, and then uh, and then you're gonna have uh, lots of unrest. So you got to be careful. You definitely got to be careful. You always got to be careful in this game. So here we are acquiring more land on the border of the Gaz Gaznavids. But at least it's in a separate duchy. So hopefully he declares a holy war for this duchy from me. And then he, he can only get one province. The bastard. I mean, I'm sitting here complaining, but remember Parathia? Oh, oh look, he actually, he did fight the Saffirids. He just fought the Saffirids. But he was only able to, he only took one province from them. Because he can't declare holy wars. So he's probably having to fabricate claims or something. And he lost like three or 4,000 men there. So that's good. Yeah, but anyway, remember the Parath, Parithara Empire? <laughs> that, uh, you know, covered this whole area? The reason they're so small is it's our fault. So I am also kind of mad because we almost finished the subjugation of Punjab in the middle of the this guy's takeover war, which would have invalidated this war, which would have meant that the Ghaznavids didn't wouldn't have even existed. That would have been so good. Of course, then I would never have known the pain that is the Ghaznavids. So. I don't know, having a mortal enemy probably makes this series a little bit better, right? It's not just kind of like, oh, we're just going to wait around for subjugation expands. It's like, you know, we're going to build up power to come just beat the living crap out of these guys. Everybody that I capture from the Ghaznavids, I'm going to execute. I don't care what it costs me. They're all going to, they're all getting executed. They're, I'm just going to execute them. And... I don't know, if the Hindus can do something more terrible, like blinding them or castrating them, uh, we'll do that. They're, uh, none will survive my wrath. I am, uh, yeah, not happy with them. To say the least. Well, we got prestige now, and since we have prestige, oh, we can get a guru. Of course, we don't really care about converting stuff anymore, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, but... Because we have the prestige, we can uh, also hold these uh, feasts. We didn't even have 100 prestige before. 100 prestige is so easy to come by. Sometimes. Prestige is either, like, pretty hard to come by, or it is, um, or it is just ridiculously easy. If 
you're running a huge empire, you'll have like just so much prestige that you don't even know what to do with it. But then if you're like a single count, you can, you can sometimes just not get any prestige at all. Uh, hmm. I should maybe look for somebody with um traits that I might want. Uh, I don't really want to marry a ten-year-old. Thanks. Ten's too young. It's only sixteen for me. Okay. She's content. But I don't think her being content makes a difference to me. Though. Uh, well, craving. I don't think craving actually matters to me either. The losing prestige does, though. Let's see if we can find someone better that I don't have to lose prestige for. Now, on Hindu, we're going to have to start worrying about caste. So... The Keshartrita? These guys. I don't know, this symbol is the one that we're going to want when we're, um... When we're, uh, Hindu. It's basically going to be the only one that we can have. Otherwise, everyone's going to hate us. So... Hmm. I wonder why I wouldn't gain prestige here for that. I mean, for Jane, the caste system doesn't quite matter, so... Well, we could gain back some prestige, or I, I don't know, I, I just like money. Just, just give me money. So now we own this castle here. Uh, so let's... Let's get, let's get on upgrading this, and let's continue upgrading over here. Because we're gonna... This is gonna be our new headquarters, so let's, uh... Let's get on it. Um... It might be good to spread military tech over here. Or no, it's not military tech that we want over here. It's uh, economic tech. So if we look at, uh, there's a way that I can see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we go to like castle infrastructure. Oh, we're actually kind of behind on castle infrastructure. Um, what about uh? Improved keeps. Oh, see, okay, yeah, see, they, it's not, they're not level two yet over here. So we can't have as many nice things. We can't have nice things. Uh, so that's something to consider. I think the only reason this, we were doing so well over here is because this was our previous capital. And, uh, that means that we had, uh, we had the tech there already. Anyway, it looks like uh, we've been going kind of long on this episode, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, if you're liking this series, make sure to like and or subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Later.